Welcome to MV Ranch. This is Mike. And I'm Mary. <coughs> with our little cat Henry. folks <laughs> <laughs> okay so today is the very first day of the build so the official building starts today as you can tell the excavator is here and the rebar is here so it's time to start digging the fittings of the house November the 14th of 2023 Yes. 30 years from now, we'll look back at this picture and think, wow, we look so young. Well, I don't feel it, but <laughs> it'd be no. so exciting to get this started. Scared, nervous, too. Yeah. Yeah, all that. And a bag of chips. But yes. in the truck. Uh, a couple of our <laughs> our goals, I guess, so some things that we think might happen. Hopefully, the bill won't take more than well 70 days is well, that, uh the low side yeah that, that we're basing that off of his actual working days be, yeah. not necessarily consecutive days because the last house that we are know the people it took him 71 days to build the house but uh the slight difference there is that our builder is planning on moving in march to Kentucky from where we're at here in Arkansas so uh, we know it'll be done by by then anyway so but uh, we're thinking three months yeah um, and of course this being November and hopefully bad weather won't come until what it usually comes in January late January hopefully we dry it so, in yeah we're our we're hoping to be dried in by that time. That way, um, be easier on them to work inside to finish up the inside than it would be to try to finish up the outside during the yucky snow and ice and all that stuff. So, um, and we've got electrical lines going up. They came into a little snag <laughs> on one of the poles. Uh, they worked for two days trying to get one of the poles in the ground, and they only made it three, three about, feet. About three feet, yeah. Yeah, and they ran into some rock. Solid. Imagine that. Yeah, in Arkansas, <laughs> a rock. Who would have thought? You know? In the foothills, made of rock. Uh. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> and we've been uh, practicing fencing. <laughs> yeah, we've been helping. Building building mom and dad a fence for their front pasture we hadn't exactly got ours done yet but uh yeah the goal is to have the cows closer to the house so that uh they dad can see the cows and he doesn't have to get out so far nor open gates to get to the house that would be the ideal situation yeah and we got to to learn about doing the h H braces, braces and corner oh. braces and learn how to build a fence basically you know flatlander building a fence in the hills you know that's pretty much a change well, we started out with rebar yeah. trying to yeah. uh screw in tap 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 and get all that in and our son james had a Better really idea. good idea <laughs> well i had seen that I'd watched several YouTubes on how to do all that, and and the rebar was the cheap route that would work. And I thought, well, that, I'll do that. So that's pretty simple enough because you can buy a 10-foot stick of rebar for less than six bucks. So that's what I was going to do. Well, it works just fine. As, uh, but uh, anyhow, the it's a little quicker process the way our oldest son James was mentioned, which I'd, like I said, I've seen a video doing that. It's just, 
I was trying to do the cheap way out. Well, he suggested using just the screw, the very long. Yeah, 12 inch screw. And it went in brilliantly. It took maybe two minutes yeah. total. You didn't have to uh, swing a hammer for 30 <laughs> minutes. So. so, yes, it's worth the price. But we were pre drilling <laughs> the hole for the rebar. So, but the thing is, is you, you want it somewhat tight so it'll hold. So, that it's just more manual labor i can see but. your breath that's really it's 46 degrees today yeah and we made it up here by 7 30. <laughs> yeah that's that's saying a lot because usually we're waking up and, and then we sit in the chair for an hour or so, and then then we decide to go and then we end up stopping or doing this or that that's how it's, excited we are yeah it's usually about 10 <laughs> o'clock when we get here or, or 11. So, but anyway, we got a whole day to be here, and we're gonna watch them. But now we won't be recording uh, the, the gentleman that's doing the job because they are men and night, and we're respecting their wishes, and that's quite all right. We understand that, but most of your. That's the front corner of the carport. Yes, roughly. behind me the electricians are working and they've been here they've worked on this one pole for three days gone through three rock bits so eventually it's going to get dug and I'm waiting on the second concrete truck and they have already started pouring the footings a couple of the little things that people might not think about that I want to remember um, we had to call for a porta potty <laughs> for the site which um, we were fortunate that we could do that and they uh, let us pay on a monthly basis and uh, so we get to keep it for a few months. And uh, setting up accounts at certain stores like lumber and concrete 
and a place for like the uh, plumbing and things like that. So I had to do that today and <laughs> to make my first trip into town. All right, concrete truck number two. They ran into a couple of a couple of rocks <laughs> in the footings. This is the rebar before before it's poured. part of the journey. <laughs> I am a little freaking out because <laughs> we have 5,600 pounds of blocks and wood and tractor forks or fork mortar. and mortar mix, like 80 bags of it. And I'm feeling sorry for whoa. My, my poor, poor truck. <laughs> she has never had to have that much weight on her, ever. I've been really nice to her. <laughs> but I just think we're being mean. <laughs> That's right. Working at night on the very first day. We have been to M&M's, <laughs> Haley's, Barton's, Ace. Four stores yeah. just to get the first load of supplies on day three or day four, <laughs> whatever day it is. Day this three. is day three. Yeah, day three. So, yeah, we're still working toward getting the slab poured, so 
um, hoping to get that done before any bad weather comes around. So here we go. We learned a lot of stuff this week about construction and we've enjoyed learning what we've learned. And as we come to a close today, we want to wish y'all a happy Thanksgiving and enjoyable holiday with your family and friends. Thank you for watching MV Ranch. Thank you.